Why are you stronger than everyone in Jiu Jitsu? Because I do it more, I'm more dedicated to it. I've done it since, you know, I've lifted since I was like nine or 10. And then I've been on like the conjugate method and lifting four times a week, like consistently regimented for five or six years now. You know what I mean? I don't miss workouts. Even if there's like some kind of emergency and somebody had surgery and I have to go to the hospital and I'm up all night or whatever, I'll go home and I'll work out so I don't miss the day. It doesn't, it's the same as eating, it's the same as jujitsu, it's the same as yoga, therapy, whatever else you wanna consider your training, this has to be just as essential. So that's how I treat it, and I don't think a lot of people treat it that way. All right, welcome to what we're doing. With Today's leg day, you know, first time, everybody's gonna see deadlifts, so we'll go up to top set of one, We'll do like two sets of like pretty heavy, you know what I mean? 90, 95% of your max uh, would be like the goal. Given what we did today, so we did hard wrestling session, hard jujitsu session, so like three, four hours in the gym today already. So we're not gonna go off like what our PR is, like most you ever did or anything. So if we're like way off from like the best we ever did, we're just gonna take it as like what's heavy for us today, like what feels like we're really struggling to get it up, so. You know, could be something like 465, 485, uh, could be a good day and could go up more, but we're not going to do anything too, too stupid. Because everybody's gonna say that we're fucking pussies. <laughs> we're gonna use a strap. <laughs> so you want a lifting trip? So if you do a deadlift, it's an exercise for your like posterior chain, right? It's your lower back, glutes, hamstrings. So if your grip is failing, why why does it need to fail if it's not strong enough to that you can't lift it off the ground? If the grip is your limiting factor, then use straps. 
if you want to get your grip stronger, do other shit. You know what I mean? That's not what a deadlift is for. And then you can do however you want to do it, you know? Are you going to use straps now? like shoes but I only have fucking clunkers you know what I mean I only had boots so going barefoot you don't want anything that gets you like kind of forward you know what I mean it's like pixely shoes no offense are pretty shitty for deadlift oh yeah pretty, <laughs> pretty shitty for anything honestly <laughs> fuck <laughs> What the fuck are you gonna do? Go play basketball, bro? <laughs> He's got his hands tucked into his socks too. Oh my goodness, bro! Dude, wrestlers love to do that. Yeah, it's they fun. love it. Huh? Track factor. Oh, he's gonna come too. I've been here, Jeremy. Jeremy's like, oh, you're playing hard. Hey, Jeremy, don't be like, hey, I'm gonna start with this. I'm not gonna get with you. Only in jeans. Kyle, cheer up, bro. What's that? Woo! That's Jeremy, man. Start on three fifteen. Actually, the whole rest of the workout wasn't even fucking worth this time. Just started at three fifteen. I 
better clips, like collars or anything? Nah, bro. They got the round ones for you. Yeah. Yeah, they another one of the bench, Anything that's good? Nah, bro. That's what you're going to get, dude. Go beat the guy up who's on the bench. Fucking take him from him. Who's going? Who do we need? Go on, Nico. What up? What, 50 pounds? Yeah. 265. Morning paper right here. Morning paper. Bands, jeans, athletic attire. So put it, put it towards your thumb. So when you put it on, put it so it goes towards your thumb. See what I'm saying? This. So when you put it on, yeah, like that. that would though. So I'll show you, but you just want to put it on. Like. So then when you go down, you're gonna get your hands where you want them. Stand, set your feet up. Put your hands where you want them. It's gonna roll. And you make a grip. And then your motorcycle. It up. What? Not on the road over here. We'll get it. We'll get it. See what I'm saying? Open your hand. Open your hand. Roll. Oh, okay. Roll. Grip that. Grip it with your thumb. Motorcycle. See that? Put it tight now. Yeah. Now you're going to re re rewrap this one. So you got to your hands in the same spot, right? It is over there. Is it the same place? Yeah. Grip. Got it? Yeah. Roll that tight. Get me out of your way. Squeeze your lats. There. Yep, you're good. Alright. Yeah. Sit into it. Lats squeeze. Good. Alright, we're going to start with the back squeeze. Alright, so you're going to squeeze the lats. I think it's just heavy, man. I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
how you feel honestly some days you might take a bigger jump some days you might just go play 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 straight up some days shit's not feeling right you might do a little bit differently uh with a group like today we always try and build off people who are weaker not saying that to say anything bad but like you know what i mean you don't want to go up to four plates when somebody's struggling with 265 or 285 so everything has to be kind of calculated if you're by yourself you go off how you feel it's just all about how you feel on the day <laughs> Yeah, goddamn. Yeah. Let's do tens. So that was so good. That was cool. Alright. to make this shit look white. Yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
accessories. A whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> a little bit of bend in your leg, but your shoulders and your, your hips stay in the same like way that you deadlift. So you almost start like that, you know what I'm saying? With your shoulders below your hips. If you start here, so see I have a little bend. I'm just going to deadlift. I'm going to keep my back up nice and flat. Deadlift. Yeah. 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 Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So really squeeze your, <coughs> your hamstrings. It's like twenty. Yeah. Don't get retarded though. What? Don't get completely retarded though. Retarded. I'm just saying. regular deadlift and stiff leg deadlift. So regular deadlift, you're gonna sit into it more. So your initial uh, break of the weight off the floor, you use your legs, you use like the whole unit of your body to get it up. We're going stiff leg, our legs are in a locked position. So there's a lot of like tension on the hamstring. So it's actually the hamstring and the lower back leveraging the weight up. In my opinion, it's like the best thing to build the, your glutes and your legs for the deadlift. And then honestly build uh, good flexibility uh, through a big range of motion. Cause we're starting with our hamstrings in flexion and then we're lifting uh, here at 315. So, I mean, that's, that's huge. You know, it doesn't really matter if you're flexible and you're weak as shit. So if you're able to be flexible and have your muscles under tension and handle this kind of weight, it says a lot. Oh. 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 Oh.
So we're gonna do something called uh, Hatfield squats. So they're a little bit different. I don't know if anybody's done these before here. So we have like the bar that's on our back. We have the bar that we can do it with. And then we have a bar here. So it'll be a little bit of a learning curve, but it should be all right. What's different about the hat field? Can you explain it a little bit? So like when you do the hat field, you're gonna have your hands out holding a bar and there's gonna be a bar on your back. So you're gonna be able to squat down and take some of the lunge into the bar here. So it's gonna put a lot of uh, focus sinking into the hamstrings, a lot of quad movement. And it allows you to load up a little bit more weight than you could probably do uh, just regular squatting with the safety squat bar. So it's a good accessory on deadlift day. I like it a lot. Use it as a main exercise sometimes. It's something different than a deadlift where we can put a lot of weight on, have our handles on something and get a deep squat. So it'll be good. I think it'll be good for these guys as they don't lift so much. So it doesn't put any force on like our technique has to be right. We kind of have our hands out and can kind of cheat it a little bit. So it's good. Hey, Cooch, can you grab that bar, the black one, and put it on this one? Put your hands out here, pull this fucking thing, right? Get your feet set however you want. Make sense? Is this fucker backwards? I feel like probably uh, yeah, the bar should be the other way, right? Yeah. That's why I stand up, face set, hands out on the bar, over grab the bar.
gonna go to a fucking failure. Great, I'll spot you so you can. I don't know, how heavy you want to go? I don't know, I've never even touched it. You never know, you got a swing? Yeah. Okay. You guys all know how to do a cowbell swing? Yep. Everybody does? Yeah, okay. Just don't do this though when you fucking. When you bring it up. That's popular. Because that's just more shit. I don't care, you don't, shouldn't care about how high the kettlebell goes, but you should come to erect, locked posture. Alright? 15, 20? Like, you know, maybe 15? All done, man. That was a tough one. Tough one. So, just finished with abs. The important thing that a lot of people, they think, forget about. Every time you do legs, every time you lift heavy, it's all about like, how stable your core can be. So, that natural belt that we have between our obliques, our abs, all that is something that 
you have to always like work on. That's a lot of the times when we fail squatting, deadlifting, any kind of like lower body exercise because we cave in the middle. You know, we take that breath and we try and brace that our abs and our lower back and our abdominal muscles just aren't strong enough to withstand our posture and withstand the load that our body's under. So it's important to get a little different work in. And then remembering that we're jiu-jitsu athletes too. Toes to bar and knees to bar is just basically like regarding, like inverting. So the more damage our abs can take, the more toes to bar we can do, the more knees up we can do from full extension like that, the better we're gonna get at our regarding and guard retention movements. Why are you stronger than everyone in Jiu Jitsu? Because I do it more, I'm more dedicated to it. I've done it since, you know, I've lifted since I was like nine or 10. And then I've been on like the conjugate method and lifting four times a week, like consistently regimented for five or six years now. You know what I mean? I don't miss workouts. Even if there's like some kind of emergency and somebody had surgery and I have to go to the hospital and I'm up all night or whatever, I'll go home and I'll work out so I don't miss the day. It doesn't, it's the same as eating, it's the same as jujitsu, it's the same as yoga, therapy, whatever else you want to consider your training. This has to be just as essential. So that's how I treat it and I don't think a lot of people treat it that way.